Now I will ask all in favor. Please state yes or no. Molson, yes. McMurchie, yes. Weeks, yes. Cummings Truskowski, yes. Gilletta, no. Ted Gilletta was the only Regina Public School Board trustee to vote against a motion to keep police in schools. The decision comes after a comprehensive nearly 400-page review of the school resource officer program, the first in its 43-year history. The program puts 15 police officers into different schools, sometimes in plain clothes, other times like this Toronto program in full uniform with guns. And the report found that specifically makes some students feel unsafe especially those who are black, indigenous, or LGBTQ. It's for that reason Gilletta came up with his own motion. He called for armed officers to be removed from Regina Public Schools by the new year and for the program to be paused pending a complete redesign. But no one voted for it. McMurchie, no. Weeks, no. I'm disappointed, but I'm, as far as I remain trustee, I'll be calling the school division to accountable, I'll be advocating for those marginalized. Board Chair Sarah cummings Truskowski says there will be changes, but she maintains removing police without any kind of supports to replace them would be irresponsible. Police are one of those things that staff do count on to um, use in, you know, violent or abuse situations. Um, but there are all kinds of different supports, counseling, psychiatrists, trauma-informed groups, um, addiction specialists that we have in our schools, but we need more of, and we just don't have that right now. Regina Public is now set to work with the Catholic Division and police to revise the program. Together, they plan to create a student advisory team and to collaborate with the diversity, equity, and inclusion leaders to make marginalized students feel safer. The school board says it hopes to have an update on the progress at its February meeting. Jesse Anton, CBC News, Regina.